dude. That's <laughs> messed up, bro. I was going to send it to you guys. But then I, like, opted out. I'm glad you did it, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's do a clap. All right, ready? Three. One, two, three. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. Again? I think that's good. I think that's good. I'll figure it out. Don't okay. worry too much. All right. All right. No, we should do one more. Okay, okay. <laughs> one, two, two, three. I'm not hearing. I'm not. I don't know. No. It's not synced up, but it's fine. All right. Okay, let's do it. What up, everybody? It's season two, episode one. I'm with the band Coral Nine. They just released their newest EP, self-titled Coral Nine. What is up, everybody? Introduce yeah. yourselves, I guess. Starting with the top left. Oh, me? Is yeah. That me? That's all mine, too. Okay, just make sure. Uh, I'm Marcos. I play keys. Oh, is that why there's a keyboard right there in the shot? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I guess Dom uh, goes next. Dom, who are you? <laughs> uh, I'm Dom. I play the bass. Hell and yeah. I'd also like to shout out my good friend, Adam Ruthenbeck, who is one-fifth of Coral Nine. We are four-fifths, and he's out lost in the wilderness right now, so he can't Damn. Can't be on the call, but um, he's a producer. He's going to play lead guitar when we start playing shows again. Can't wait for that. All right, Cobb, what's up? Sure. Okay, did you get to that? And then um, top right, or like, uh, Cobb and Riley? Uh, uh, my name is Cobb, other known as Cobb, and I play drums. <laughs> my name is Riley, and I play guitar. And and vocals. I think we missed vocals, that. Yeah. Vocals. Okay. Well, I just wanted to say, starting off, congrats on the EP. It turned out super well, I think. Super hyped for the... I think the the thing that's most on my mind, right, is getting on those playlists. Was that a surprise for you guys? Thanks. Or planned? Uh, or? Yeah. Well, it, it was, it was, we hoped we would get on the uh, on playlist. That was We definitely wanted to. I didn't know. If, I caused it to it. I mean, yeah, it before, we, before we released it, um, we like sat down and submitted it to like the Spotify for artists playlist. Mm. And then um, nothing happened, obviously. <laughs> so we got released and we we're like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like usually nothing happens. And then Alfonso just texted us in the group chat, which was our old former piano. Yeah. Pianist. And then um, I, I wasn't, I was like busy at the time and I thought it was a joke. So I was like, like, I just looked at it and then I put it away. But then we realized it was like, actually, we actually got put on fresh fine. But no one contacted us up until that point. So it was, it was a big surprise. Oh, dang. So it was just like you just discovered yourselves yeah, on the playlist. Yeah, we didn't know. Like someone else. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Alfonso. Okay, Alfonso. Shout out to Alfonso. <laughs> Solar child. He's, Solar he's child. keys on Pele. That solo, that's him. Mm. Just so you know. Yeah. That was actually the next thing. I oh, and Ali. About. Shout out to Ali. Yeah, oh, yeah she's on Crazy La Birra. La Birra. La Birra. La Birra. Dear friend. Yes. La Birra. Mm. Crazy Great eyes. Great vocalist. Those crazy eyes, man. <laughs> uh, well, I think you guys kind of did it for me, but I, I kind of wanted to ask. So, like, Pele was a single that came out back in 2019. Got, like, 20K listens, which is pretty wild for, like, considering you guys didn't really have anything else out there yet. Uh, how has it been kind of transitioning from that single back in 2019 and then making music and getting to the, the EP we are at today? Um, I think we've always had those songs and like had those songs like written and we just like, we were playing a piece of the EP like right when LA came out, I think. Like uh, we, were, we, were, we were super late. <laughs> on our releases to be honest with you it's but, okay. um we were yeah i just want to speak to the shows because we were playing shows when i start when i joined the band we immediately started playing shows because it started at this house show that we had with inside mood and coral nine and then we started decided that i was going to play bass for them and then also no room no sweetener we were just all going to start collaborating and playing in each other's bands and they had a lot of the songs for the ep already written at that point but we had to do some re reimagining and like changing our sound up because like some, there was some demos and then but like then we started recording like 
separate takes and stuff and like instead of just having it all recorded in one demo and then that kind of just like helped get the train going mm. also zelda was written by marcus hoy oh. <laughs> and uh yeah and then nc17 was kind of just like <laughs> just messing around just messing around yeah i feel like our band like really changed after like once dom joined and then marcos joined and then adam joined like that band like coral nine right now compared to coral nine when Kelly came out it's like yeah it used to be a trio that used to it used to be a trio with no yeah. bass player yeah. yeah us us two and then um and then Alfonso. Alfonso, yeah well if we're talking about it i guess could i get a quick like history of coral nine slash y'all's involvement in the scene and how everyone met <laughs> yeah <laughs> possible. um so me alfonso and marcos and juhan we're all in the band uh, all in Nor Uno sweeteners band uh which is juhan and I was playing bass, Juan was playing, well, he was doing his guitar and stuff and singing. And then Marcos was doing drums and then Alfonso was doing keys. Mm, yeah. And then, yeah, he we, we met Alfonso, me, it was just, we met Alfonso. It was a house show at, at a house show. Time. Yeah, it, it was, was a house show. That's oh, what we, were playing, we were playing with our friend, Michelle. Michelle Yin, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was on keys for a little bit. She was. And then, um, and then yeah, we met Alfonso, and then like I hated him because he like <laughs> he wouldn't shut up at, during our show. Damn. And I was like, hey man, shut up! And he was like, nah. <laughs> and I was like, oh fuck this guy, dude! I fucking hate this guy. I didn't know that. And then he it's became like funny. one of my closest friends, and like one, one of my best friends, and I it's fucking love him now. Funny, dude. But uh, <laughs> yeah, and then and then we like yeah, and then we just did a couple shows in No Room, so yeah, we released an EP. And then, um, and then we all went to college, or Juhan went to college, I went to college, and then uh, Marcos went to college too. So we were all split up. Mm. And then, and then yeah, and then <laughs> I was I was kind of just on my own. I was me and Ju me and Alfonso wanted to I wanted to start my like my own project or like our own project. And then um, yeah, I, I I wanted Alfonso to be in it because he's a really good keyboardist. And then I was playing guitar. And then I got Kov. I, I remember the story when, like, when we first met. Yeah, I was, I was like a freshman in high school. Like, I just came. Um, this is before all this, too. Yeah, this is Dang. before. This. And, so we're gonna do a flashback. It's yeah. a flashback. <laughs> and, um, and so jumping all over. <laughs> I had a, I had a, my family friend Cena. He introduced me to Riley, and then um, because we wanted was, to start our band, Otis and Friends. That yeah. was. Mm. That was the uh, Tom Otis. Yo. <laughs> Vintage t-shirt. Vintage t-shirt. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Got it folded in the drawer. Yeah, but we wanted we wanted Tom to be an Otis and friend. No, and then there's um some other people named Omar and uh, yeah Omar and a couple of his friends wanted also wanted a band like me to be in a band for a drummer and honestly it was like it was kind of like I needed to pick one and then I actually like actually went up um. Ended up going with the other people, so I, oh my, kind of rejected Riley. Went oh, to dude, people. I didn't know that. But the only reason that happened was because the literally like ten minutes before that moment, um, I heard that Riley got in like a huge fight with his teacher or something, and I was like, <laughs> and I was like a, a freshman, like super innocent, and I was like, oh no, I'm not trying to like. <laughs> I said, I said, I said, fuck you to a teacher. But I, said, I remember that. No! I remember that. I was like, bro, why'd you do that? <laughs> You're like. Who was it again? Who was it again? Uh, I don't even know. I'm sorry, though. Exactly. It doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> it doesn't even matter no more, bro. Then, like, go ahead, go ahead, Kof. A year, a year later, I was like, doing, we released an album with that band and everything. And then I kind of like fell off with that band. I don't know. I just like wasn't like feeling it and stuff. I didn't really enjoy our music that much. Um, it was fun though. They're all really good people. And then um, Riley came to one of our shows, like our last show, and then. Uh, it was so funny. We were playing a bunch of like our whole set, and then after our set, Riley came up on stage, and then like we just started playing. And I feel like we connected like better than like our little jam session. Like, that moment was like better than our whole set that we played. That Damn. Show. And, like, that <laughs> moment, I was like, okay, me and Riley, like we need to do something. And then we yeah. went to this I house. Didn't... We yeah. made a demo, and it kind of started from there. And then he introduced Alfonso. He came over. I remember the day he came over for the first time. We all jammed jammed and then it kind of started yeah and then uh and then we all started playing me us three started playing shows because juhan invited us to i think it was the is this 2018 
What, when is this? 2017. Right? It was like 2017, 2018. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, so mm-hmm. like, yeah, he, he invited us to this show, which was Inside Mood Show, I believe, which is Dom and Adam. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, wait, no, was it the Honey Hive Show? It was the Honey Hive. It was the Honey I think you played the Honey Hive Show before our We played our the Honey Hive show. show. Yeah, so we played the Honey Hive Show first with Juhan, and that was fun. And then, like, we released, like, a demo on SoundCloud. And then, like, we, like, were hella laughing and recording. Oh, and then we asked Dom to, and we did, once we did our Inside Mood show, we asked Dom to be in the band. And he was like, yeah, for sure. Dude, I tell you my crazy ass story. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I came, I was like, this is a, literally a year ago, exactly a year ago. I came, I got my bass, I got on the BART, you know, two hours, whatever. I did it every week. I'd still do it. Um, I got to the house and it's it's Cobb, it's Riley, Alfonso, and Ali, and they're jamming on this song. I'm just like, oh, this is fire because I got there a little late, so they were playing the song when I pulled up, and then I just like I grabbed my bass and like I was just like, whoa, this is crazy. It was crazy eyes, man. <laughs> um, no, we, didn't have, we, actually, <laughs> we didn't name it that then, but it's cool. It was a really fun song. I was like, wow, this is probably like the most wow. the coolest song I've been a part of. Like I was I was really hyped. That's sick. Aw, stop. Stop. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Outside the garage. <laughs> Dang, yeah. so that feels like there's a lot of love between everybody in the band, it seems like. I mean, obviously, Adam isn't here, so like, he can't speak for himself, but everyone, like Marcos, you've known Riley forever. Cobb, yeah. like, you all went to high school, and then Adam and Dom joined in after a meeting through Juhan, I'm assuming? I yeah, it was through Juhan. Hell yeah. The the connect, the SF Dublin connect, which I guess elephant in the room, y'all are out in Dublin, like not quite the maybe the popiest popping most popping scene, I am trying to say. Oh yeah, most it's a cultural uh, mecca. Yeah, that's that's a, yeah, it, that's I guess. <laughs> the reason I left San Francisco every weekend to go to Dublin. Because that's where the coolest music was. Well, but San Francisco's a cultural mecca. What do you mean? Right. Everything's happening in Dublin. It's shifting. It's shifting. The centers of culture mm. are shifting. Okay, I can't. East Bay, man. East Bay? East Bay. I don't know. So like the, so <laughs> <we're the kids. laughs> talk about collective eyes in a sec. Fuck yeah. I mean, yeah. I, honestly, there is a sort of a cool situation in Dublin compared to most suburbs, though. I, I'll, I'll give the credit in the sense it's a lot more... Just diverse. Friends. Just Friends are from here. That I've band. never heard of that band, but hell yeah. No, no. Just Friends. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I feel like you've mentioned them. I've just never. I don't. Oh. I, I can't recall. But yeah, like, I mean, I'm. I'm gonna be real. You guys are fairly like a diverse band compared to like. I feel like the average band in the scene is a bunch of white guys, and there's <laughs> <laughs> Dublin's a little bit more. Uh, it's got like some. It, it, <laughs> I'm canceled. There's a fly. There's a fly. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a fly in my also in my room. So fun fact about that. But um. I, I guess I don't have any major points on that. I just, I imagine there's more culture in Dublin compared to like Danville, Alameda, you know, like the, the more just boring white yeah, I'm people. working Alameda. <laughs> I don't know about I'm Alameda. Trying to so I'm trying to get a place Danville, 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 Yeah. Danville, for sure. I don't know why I threw Alameda Sorry, in there. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> That's cool. It might be. I don't know what that well yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It might be right. My grandparents that how Danville is? I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what Danville is. Danville's like. pretty, uh, uh, I like, don't know any bands from my town. I'm from, I live in Danville and. Are there music venues there? There's like two bars for like old people in the, in the downtown area. But like, there's I've no like there. scene for like young people at all. It's completely. Hey man, everyone's young at heart. I've only been there on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, right. But yeah, anyways. Uh, so uh, super hyped, I guess, to, to finally see the, the EP come out and it seems like it's taken over a year for those songs to come to fruition in the sense of being available for everyone to hear on Spotify. Apple yeah. Music. And like four months to choose a cover art mm. after the, all, after all the music was mastered and recorded about four or five months to, to get the cover art. <laughs> who did um, the cover? <laughs> every 20, every time. <laughs> you, can, you know, what's funny. Oh, who, who did, did the, the cover, cover art? art? It was oh, Hannah, right? Oh, yeah, great. I love it. I'm not complaining Hannah about Coughlin. it. Hannah Coughlin. Yeah. Shout out Shout Hannah out. Coughlin. Shout out Hannah Coughlin. Remy 11 at M Remy 11. Yo, crazy eyes awkward. Crazy eyes awkward. 
Call me Hotel. Yo. Kelly, Kelly artwork. Kelly artwork. Call me Hotel. <laughs> oh, spinach artichoke souffle artwork. That wasn't Chris. Chris. Bro. <laughs> Sounds like y'all are, got the connects in terms of the artists. That, that, that's pretty. Oh yeah, we we're definitely. Trying to, we're trying to bring a bunch of artists together. Yeah, we're trying to. Collect. We're trying to bring the resources up. Yeah. With oh. Us. Well, you want to tell me a little bit more about this? Yeah, we want to make a. We want to make a self-sustaining community. Exactly. <laughs> Like, you know, you're all in your own food, taking care of your own kids. Like a cultural community. Oh, okay. Right? Like in the city or it, something? or Yeah, it's mostly musicians, but it's it's definitely, we want to root it in the East Bay. That's what it's been so far. Yeah, right now and it's just mostly artists mostly. who... Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, artists who have this, who share, who like want to support each other's individual visions, you know, mm. and who want to really kind of promote, create, collaboration community love you know all that so that's what we, we're trying to do right now that's super exciting i hope it works out it's kind of tough to find a spot out here in the, in such a high renting yeah. market maybe sack might be more really available i don't know but maybe not that's our market is. i don't know anything about the music scene i, I mean I know there's a, a music scene in sack yeah but like a different that's a different one that i'm aware of <laughs> Is there like a lot of like post like like punk rock type shit? Or I don't like, know. I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess for you guys, I mean, if there were music, shows going on, but I don't know. I mean, I have no clue. That's a good question. Like, what if you were to live in any part of the Bay and you were looking like for artists of your guys' similar taste in terms of music? Where do you think you would go? Do you have any ideas? I think Oakland and San Francisco would just be like it. Mm. Just any like honestly, just East Bay. East Bay. Oakland seems to like yeah. a really yeah. popping place for sure, yeah. just for anything in music. So, <laughs> yeah. How, maybe that's the dream. Find a house in like uh, Temes, not Temescal, uh, closer to like the Lake Merritt area or something. Get get yeah. really lucky on yep. some rent. I know some people recording out there, so I'm sure it's it's that's doable. Cool. That's super sick. Hope it, hope it works out. Uh, it, tough tough to find. It'll a, be like a, it'll be like hashtag a collectivized. Motown. <laughs> house like Motown. <laughs> You know, yeah, we don't all need to be in one house. It's just like the same <laughs> region, space. you know. I mean, oh, we already are in the same region. Oh, I should shout out. Oh, yeah, Dots, Dots Bay Area. That's a, a visual artist. He does murals and T-shirts and all kinds of stuff. He he definitely has a similar vision. So that's like it's not just music. It's mostly musicians, mm. but they're like visual artists and other people. Yeah, as we're well. trying so to we're do like also them. sort of like um, so like Kov. He's also really good with like cinematography and like just videography. So we're like really involved with our own our own direction when it comes to like uh, videos or visuals and stuff. Mm. So and then we also have like a friend, our friend Lauren. He's also a really good photographer, and our other friend John Kim is also a good photographer, also a good yeah. videographer. Photographer. <laughs> is this gonna be a podcast of shout outs? Just like I know, yeah, I know this this, this, these yeah. are resources, <laughs> but like these are resources, and we definitely. Like, it's almost it's like bring. I don't know. They yeah, just, I mean, if you want to create like a list of links and all resources, resources and family. Yeah, family. these are like are yeah, family. like I don't know how to. It's like Don't, an odd future yeah. type thing. It's a whole lot of love, man. It's a whole lot of love. I don't know what to say. It's a whole lot of love. It's a copy, man. Unconditional love. Speaking of cinematography, music. Are there going to be any music videos for this uh, EP coming out? Awesome. Um, hold on. What's up with that guy, though? Uh, I have I have a friend who's uh, interested. Goes by the another shout out, Miles <laughs> Herman. Uh, he. <laughs> He's, uh, he makes some cool movies. We worked, me and uh, Adam and I have worked with him in the past on some things. And he said, like, he hit us up about Crazy Eyes immediately, like, saying how much he loved it and oh, had, like, a vision for the video. I don't know. He's in New York, though. So I don't know how we're going to make that work. But mm. I, I, maybe I, I, he could just make his own thing. Trouble. He just makes the whole video okay. Okay. in New York. <laughs> maybe, maybe, or something. Yeah. Like that. We can post know. it on our YouTube like, or something. Thanks, dude. I think, we, I think the priority is just to keep releasing music. I think we're all, mm. we all have different projects and things that we're collaborating with and then things that we're doing on our own. Okay. Yeah, yeah we haven't really, I don't think we've fully talked about like music videos and stuff, but I mean like me, John and I are definitely there and like John, you have your friends too. And I think maybe in the future that's something we'll like, go more into. Okay. W- would it be honest if I said that your guys' vision in a sense is to like, develop a lineup 
where it's like six people in like four bands that just switch roles like throughout the entire show because isn't in a sense you've kind of done that with people just jumping from different instrument depending on the the technical band it is and stuff like that yeah it's not even i don't even i think that might be true not even bands too like we're thinking like in our shows we just switch instruments like halfway or something like oh, okay rotates. Mm-hmm. So i think is, like okay. r- there was an effort there's a definitely an effort to keep things like all right this is like the Coral Nine project, this is inside mood. Like they're different, you know, mm. like in this in this band I do this and that band I do this. But I think as we get closer and closer together, like I'm not Adam and I aren't in San Francisco anymore. We're looking to root ourselves in the East Bay. These guys are in the East Bay. So I mean we're just gonna Juhan might be living with Adam and High. Whoa. So I don't even know what the boundary or no sweetener and inside mood is gonna be if we live together. <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting. I just I think it's I'm seeing a convergence. I feel like we're all gonna come together and it's gonna be hard to Distinguish. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're, We're just cool. collecting. Vibes. You know, <laughs> vibes. <laughs> Go ahead, Marcus. Vibes. Did you no, I was just agreeing. I was agreeing. Oh, okay, okay, for sure. Well, I mean, that sounds like a solid plan. I mean, if the music stays up to this quality and just keeps getting better and better, like it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna work out. Working on some new music That's right now. Literally yeah. at this moment. I, t- I told Literally him earlier. At this I know. I was waiting for you guys to record the take. I was like, come on, I'm trying to eat pie right now. Let's I, I want yeah. you guys to take your time, man. No, I messed up. <laughs> this is weird, man. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> for those that I guess uh, are gonna be curious, because perhaps this will be a bit of a time bank or a, I'm, there's a word for this that I can't think of, but maybe in three, four years down the line, a fan of yours might discover this interview and sort of be curious about the thoughts and feelings of Coral Nine in 2020. So I'm just gonna throw it to the floor. Any hot takes, I don't care what it's about. Just like, what is a hot take right now that you have about life in 2020? Anyone, if it's if it's blanks, I'm sorry. This was not a prepared question. I'm not trying to get political here. <laughs> you don't have to get political. I need my to say something. I'm getting cold. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I don't. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, well, honestly, man, we oh. just got to stay good, man. We just cold take. Stay loving. You know what's funny, though? I'm pretty sure this new song that we're having is kind of like an ode to uh, harsh whoa. Times, sort of. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's about of times, it's, for sure. It's called... Um, it's called agape and that's like it means like unconditional love for like everybody mm. and like it's kind of just talking about like how like the, sh- like the world's kind of fucked up okay and uh you know just gotta get that love man loving in the air that's what, that's what that's what i collectivize too it's like there's a lot of um really big issues and structures sis- systems, systems that are killing people and are bad for us and bad for our mm. brains but we can still like can still have love we can still make art and community that's like what we can do pretty much that's all we can do yeah i'm not gonna lie i fell in love with this song though on the the opening lines <laughs> the opening <laughs> lines the lyrics. And the, like, like, I, the lyrics I, I, and melody they're just so beautiful they're like i felt them just because i had just um uh i just saw this uh video and i it was this uh dang i kind of forgot what the video was but the uh i was like feeling heated and then i like i listened to the song like you had just sent it in the morning Mm -hmm. i was like oh dang this like really hits right now it's really interesting how like some like marcos you're saying how like lyrics are important to you and like the melody is important to you and stuff but like for rep like i don't even know the lyrics or like what they mean (laughs) <laughs> oh, you don't. Thanks, Cobb. He's too busy like headbanging to the drums, like oh, that, like, oh that he, just listen, he just hears sounds. He just hears sounds. He just, sound. yeah. This guy, this guy, yeah. I just, like, synesthesia. This guy, this guy has synesthesia. I remember, like, no, with uh, Pele when we were making the artwork, or uh, yeah, when I was making the artwork, I was like, wait, what should I even do? Like, what is this song about? And then I just sit down <laughs> and I'm like, I te- I remember I was texting him, and all you guys were like explaining to me what it was about. And I'm, like, and then I made it. Like, but before that point, like, recording it, putting it out there, like advertising it, I didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. For sure. Well, like, um, I like. Go ahead. <laughs> I like. I just like how it sounds. I like this. Well, yeah. It sounds good. No, the song sounds good. The, so. the purpose of that was <laughs> that, like, 
that it's really interesting how you, everyone. What do you talk? <laughs> Oh, I was just gonna say it's interesting how like everyone looks at something different and then we come together mm. and like, just different perspectives upon things and stuff. So if I were to ask like what is everyone's influences, there's gonna be like a bunch of wild different answers, or is it are there some probably, kind of yeah. <laughs> probably yeah? <laughs> is there any unifying like everyone fucks with one band? Um, I mean, just like we have some overlap, yeah. I'm sure we have some overlap. There are times overlap. I just want to say this, like where I'm playing songs, we're like listening to music together, and I'm like, oh, they like they definitely have, are gonna love this song, and then like they're singing along to it, and they already know what I'm like, oh, like that song, I only have eyes for you, the flamingo. <laughs> I was just like, oh, they're not yes. gonna know this one. It's too like oh. yeah, they yeah, both that song so good. Stop bore on me, stop bore on me. I was like, oh, you're not gonna know that, and then they both knew it. And Juhan knew it. I was yeah. just like, right. <laughs> I know none of those there's songs. a lot of overlap, <laughs> a lot of overlap. Hell yeah. But uh, oh, if we're talking influences. Hit me. Is that, is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Oh, me? Oh, you want me to go first? Go for it. Um, D'Angelo is a big one. The Neptunes, definitely a big one. Jay Zilla. I really, I really respect the Temptations and like Marvin Gaye. Just any like, any yes. Motown. Any I Motown, agree with that. Any Motown, but also the any like. Big one. What's the big one? <laughs> what's the, what is, oh, a lot of, a lot of I, don't, I don't like, I don't like to, I don't like to call him Childish Gambino. I call him Donald Glover because, like, that's who he has as a person. Oh, DG, DG. DG, I was actually, DG. I was, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's he's a, yeah, no doubt. He's a huge influence for all of us. I was yeah. actually talking about your your JT. Oh, dude, no, JT. Oh, JT. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's JT like, that's a whole different one, story. But, like, that's no, that, but that's, like, deeply rooted. That's, like, childhood shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just like his, like, his old shit. Dude, but that's because, like, also the Neptunes were on his first album anyway. Mm. So they kind of really shaped that sound. Part of me feels like Marcos could have a short podcast of just about Justin Bieber and your specific, not Justin Bieber, <laughs> Justin Timber. Like, I apologize. Justin Bieber is cool too. Yummy, cool yummy. Too, thoughts on yummy, yummy. Oh, no. I, I, didn't, I didn't listen to it. I wasn't, really, I wasn't fucking with it, but you know. Whatever. I heard a conspiracy <laughs> that it was like somehow related to him, like. Some like weird fucked up stuff. I don't remember this detail. I don't even want to say it, but Justin Bieber <laughs> might <Okay>. be evil. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I believe her that. I believe, <laughs> believe her that. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Influences. Yeah, influences. What about you, Puff? Let's keep going. Oh. What about you, Puff? Me? Um, let's see. I think I, I bring like the rock side more. So like Tim and Paula, they they'll hear me talk about that like all day, um, and then like all these two like classics, you know Beatles, um, Pink Floyd, like those people, mm -hmm. and then kind of smaller people too like uh, I don't know like Skin Shape. He's he's a big one right now. That he's not really big, but I listen to him a lot. Yeah, I think is that your most obscure. Big. Influence skim shape or is that what? No skin shape. Skin, skin shape. shape. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll check him out. Sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. Right, right. Um, temptations for sure. Got to go with that. A lot of my taste is like the same as Marcos. I feel like. Uh, no, I you have like you yours is like you have the most overlap with the three the other three of us. Like just like anybody really. You listen to anything to be honest. Yeah, that's true. Like, um. I like the Temptations. I like the uh, I like Marvin Gaye. Um, I like uh... <laughs> okay, but who like was it that made you want to start a band? Mm -mm. Oh, Marvin's oh. doing my job for me. Thank you. Okay, well, um... <laughs> sorry. All right. sorry, no, I appreciate it. Surf curse, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, I I, oh. I love surf curse, man, for a long time. I heard there's a sexual thing on them, but now it's now it turns out to be fake, but I don't even know. Well, um, yeah, who knows? But anyways, fuck it. Um, I liked them before, and uh, I really wanted to start a band because of them. And um, shit, but like our, so our music sounds nothing like that. True. Anymore. But um, oh, Radiohead, that's a big one. Radiohead. Yeah. Did you care? Uh, uh, I'm just looking through my Spotify right now. I'm preparing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, Bullpack. Bullpack. I like Bullpack a lot. Nope. 
Wolfpack. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Childish Gambino, mm-hmm. Tyler the Creator. Jay Dilla. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jay. Erica yeah. Badu, sure. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amy, Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. Is <laughs> Amy Winehouse, dude. Frank. Mm-hmm. Frank is so good. Frank is so good. Yeah. Uh, Brother's my Adele? favorite song. Adele? I don't know. Adele? Okay. Yeah, maybe. Well, I like, uh, all right, my turn. My turn. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, well, let me just say two more. <laughs> Jorge Ben. Jorge Ben. Okay. And Two Door Cinema Club. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, what a okay. combo. Go ahead. I'm gonna say just to bring, make sure we got the bossa represented because we definitely have some bossa influence. Luis Bompa, I'm my favorite guitarist. Love that dude. Um, Minnie Ripperton, oh. one of the great, <laughs> great artists of all time, in my opinion. Uh, and then more recent, let's uh, Krongbing for sure, and mm. Crumb. Krong, Krongbing, Crumb. Those are two like currents who are like very influential. Fuck yeah. Those are some great picks from everybody. Thank you for sharing. Cause I, well, Adam I would like... pick King Cruel. Adam would pick yeah. King Cruel. <laughs> oh, Adam, yeah, dude, we got to about Adam. Oh, oh, he would say he would mm. say King Cruel and Mad Villain. Oh shit. Oh, oh Mad, Mad Villain makes sense. I would feel like well, you already called that. that <laughs> Bro, he said when Q Tip speaks, you listen. When I when I did that quote, oh yeah, that was hella <laughs> I feel like he but he tribe. Yeah, tribe. Tribe yeah. is definitely a big one. Hulk West. Well, uh, what's in the Spotify description of the band, if I may ask? Does anyone know off the top of their head? (laughs) I wrote it. (laughs) What is it? it? Do I need to read it again? I can go check it. It's just like a genre. I'm just curious because, like, you know how, like, when, like, bands are, like, official, it's like they have, like, their influences inside their description and all this, like, history and, like, how they met and all that kind of stuff. Like, I feel like my description is like nice and personal. I don't know. I keep, like, nice. I, I've seen like I've seen big artists that have playful descriptions that are kind of like nowadays. Like oh, men I trust, dude. Look up men I trust. That's also I feel yeah. like have a really like playful description. Oh, funny. like and they're pretty. Yeah, they're just like it's just like a small <laughs> paragraph. I'll give uh, you that. cut up for a second. Yeah. I think Spotify might be now. lagging me out or something, so I'm going to close out of it. But uh, I didn't it, – it was brief. I didn't actually read your guys' because I had to close out of it. But... We'll read it. Hold on. Yeah, I, ha- I have it up. <laughs> Check it. Fresh finds, baby. I think so. uh, <laughs> what? What? All right, ready? East Bay bass group making straight up fire. <laughs> has been referred to as eclectic R&B, but also fuses bossa nova, soul, rock, and pop with vaguely island ocean vibes. The person mm-hmm. who said that it was eclectic R&B was my Aunt Jerlyn. Shout out, Aunt <laughs> I remember that moment. Yeah. yeah. That must have been a mega moment since it made it to the, the Spotify description. <laughs> it did. You're like, whoa. Classic. Gotta have, oh, gotta have shout, out, <laughs> shout out my cousin, too. Uh, yeah. Connor Jerlyn. He's an artist himself. He's Really great, great, great singer songwriter. So, anyway. oh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Make sure to remind us if we haven't shouted someone out. Oh, for <laughs> it's sure. It's been appreciate. two minutes and we haven't shouted someone out. Make sure to hey, shout out you. I need the yeah. shout out. Hey, shout out you. If I had a, oh, thank you. Thank you. I much appreciate it. But um, I need to get a video editor to like, I'm too lazy to do it myself, but I'll have someone else count every time there was a shout out, maybe at the end of the video. Shout out. This is too meta though, because now I'm seeing the future. <laughs> yeah, right there. The shout out counter. It'll, It'll be a sound. Like- season season two has to be the most meta, the most meta it's ever been. I mean, that's the plan. That's the fucking oh, plan. So, uh, I guess to just make this more of a oh, traditional man. interview. Um, why don't I ask you know this big smart guy question? Uh, how is the music going to evolve from here? Where is Coral Nine going next? Good question. Well, we're working on an album. We're working on an album um, for This Guy Goes to College. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we want to work on an album because that's, I mean, that's, like, that's what we've always wanted. We've always wanted an album. But we wanted to release an EP before the album, so yeah. Yeah. Um, we might kidnap Cobb and actually not let him go to Cobb. That's something <laughs> disgusting. Keep it on the low. Don't tell us. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
I think a personal goal of mine um, for this album and just all music that I have any part of is to make it cinematic. Just because I really love cinematic music, I feel like it brings out something. Uh, I would like to or kind of add or like bring a little bit of it into Corona, but a bit. But um, yeah. Like a concept album sort of vibe, you think? Yeah. 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 yeah, but cinematic is is like it's weird how i define it is very like i don't even know cinematic and concept is like it's got a weight to it you know it's got like a weight where it's like damn like this could be like you know this could be a movie in a movie it could be in a movie yeah yeah it's really big you know i don't know it doesn't have to mean like big string arrangements Mm. but like that's something that comes to mind for me i don't know if we need that and I want to I want to make a lot of visuals to to this album or just any future music we make. Mm. I want to like incorporate a lot of visuals because I feel like that's another big way to get people in and mm. like interested in our stuff is um, not only if they can hear something amazing but see something amazing together. Yeah, it's totally just amazing. I can pick feel it. and smell all mm. the senses. And smell all the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Well, that's super exciting. A concept album or like a cinematic, super exciting. I feel like that, you know, I'm sure it's happened. I'm making a gross generalization by saying this, but from my own personal perspective, I feel like a lot of the times these days, everyone's just doing singles. And then if you're really, really big and you have a like a record deal, then you'll like release an album or you're just like big enough to release an album. But like most people don't try to do the album until they've reached that certain like level. But the fact that you guys just want to do it without like any like concern about like the monetary stuff, that, that's I think super cool. I, I'm oh, super excited. Shout out <laughs> Uncle Chris. <laughs> Their album was sick. They made a really dope album. Okay. I mean, I, I feel like it was a little conceptual. I mean, they had a single or two, but it's not like they were like just releasing singles on singles. Their whole, like, their whole like album. music, everything about them is like their sets even are like very like. There's like a narrative to it. Yeah, they, they have that, actual narration in their sets over yeah, like, cool. like mood yeah. music when they're like. That's doing that it. world it's like a transition. Shit. Yeah, it's sad because like I booked Uncle Chris once or like partially, but I don't. It was so long ago, and I think I didn't even want like. Like maybe I watched the set, but I don't. It was so long. I wish I had kept up with them because they're like you guys are all friends with that group, right? I'm pretty sure, or at least you're familiar with. We, them. we got to play a house show with them right before, right before everything happened. All oh, things wow. happened. Yeah, end of February. Like oh, that's, yeah. the, that's the weeks, smoking actually. sick. I was gonna go to that show and then some shit went down. But yeah, hell yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's well, okay. It was a lot of they had, control. They had they had the, the garage like j- like stomping. It's packed. Yeah, it was oh, fucked shit. up. Yeah, was there was, moshing or was it just like you can believe nah. it was moshing? Um, um, there was vandalism. Um, <laughs> there was definitely vandalism. It was, it was a proper SF of, proper cookhouse. <laughs> RIP cookhouse. RIP. Well, okay, there we go then. Uh, I'm super hyped on that. I hope it uh, comes out sooner rather than later. Any any ideas? Like a year from now or six months? Probably. Hopefully it's quicker than that. Yeah. <laughs> for the album? Yeah, for the yeah. album. When any any okay. Well to be honest, it's a big song. album, like we're gonna be Yeah, yeah, say it, say it, Marcos. I don't wanna be? say it, you say it. Okay, so Inside yeah. Mood, Dom and Adam, Inside Mood, also Juhan, I'm not gonna they have an E P coming out. So we, we have a lot of we have some like tr- like the collectivized E-tape group and an E P. The collectivized Whoa. group, we have a lot of projects coming. Like we're kind of like we're working as sort of like a unit. Damn. We don't want to like we didn't because Kov he had released um a couple uh, singles as Super Kov, and we didn't want to like interfere with ego. his releases. Yeah, so we didn't want to interfere with his uh his releases, and then we dropped um the EP Coral Nine. We don't want to interfere with. The- nine release so we got it we had to space them out but we got a lot of stuff just sitting right yeah, like you guys have started like an independent record label almost or like an independent music collective whatever whatever, whatever like, you want to call it or both. but like whatever the, the like scheduling all of that is <laughs> that's super so, smart so right now we have uh the inside movement when is that coming out dom the ep uh b tape i'll just say it right i'll say it on the air 25th happy birthday gambino happy birthday hey. tape <laughs> There we go. Um, What's it yeah, called? and then the, the single, oh, the B tape is called. Oh wow, I'm gonna say it right now. 
The Beat Cave is called Earthbox. Should I not be outing and you? And the Oh, it's fine. We can do it on here. Make it exclusive. Earthbox slash Inside Mood. It's a self-titled EP, just like the Coral Nine one. Wow. So I hope you enjoy our Stone Mountain slash Kawhi. Hell yeah! Is nice. that just gonna be on Spotify? Nice. Or... Where does the beat tape? Uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be on Spotify. The beat tape, I think, it will be on like SoundCloud and YouTube and stuff. Steezy as fuck, dude. Yeah. There are all the samples. <laughs> so in, in, addition, in addition to the Inside Mood EP, we have a. I have an EP that I'm producing with Lavera, who is also a good friend of ours. Lavera, Lavera. I'm not really too sure when that's coming out, but I think she might know. But, <laughs> and then we have a collectivized tape coming, and that's sort of going to be just like an anthology, just like whole, it's like a mishmash, just a mash of all of us. There's no like only Pearl Nine or only No Room No Sweet or only Solo Child or only Inside Mood. And oh, be... a Solo Child, I got a track. I got a track with him and an EP, a Kingdom. Mm-hmm. That's my solo stuff. Kingdom um, produced. EP, collectivized EP on the way. Shout out to Vita. Dang. <laughs> Another Yo, shout, out. I, shout out Counter. Shout out Counter. Yo. <laughs> now I'm working on my EP, which is coming a long way from now. That's going to be like after all this. That's also sometimes. Like, when is so the we're movie never, coming We're never not coming. making music. <laughs> When's we're the not movie coming? We just don't know who, who's, who, what's for, who anything's for. When, yeah, and when we're going to, yeah, and when we're going <laughs> to release it. Because like it's, it, it'll be ready to go very soon. A lot of it already is. Yeah. Super like I'm, I'm making, I'm making, I'm making music every day. So and I just, I don't know. Living your just best life. Comes. I just come make what comes. I don't know. Living my best life. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, I remember we really. talked about it. <laughs> Hell yeah. If that's the that's the dream, right? Everyone here just kind of right. wants to be a professional musician, so to speak. That would be. You could die happy wanna... potentially. Die ex- accepting that. It's just that fun for me. Yeah. And. The Joker in the Dark Knight, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger's Joker said, "If you're good at something, never do it for free." I'm just kidding. I just want to make a sustainable living, doing what I like, <laughs> and I like it. Cinema. I mean, no. just do it. Narratives. Like it doesn't even matter what it is. Just like doing a just living. Do it. Even if it's a hobby, though, like it's just fun. I'm gonna just keep doing it. Making a living off like what you love is like ultimately the dream. Because then it's not a job. Right? A Can I just say? This is not actually related too much to what we're talking about, but it came to my head and I hope maybe because of that I can make it happen. But I guess with COVID, you know, we still have lots of time before this is realistically feasible. But could there be a show where it's like y'all are playing, it's all the homies. So like Inside Mood, Coral Nine, Juhan, the plethora, I could keep going, oh, but I won't. <laughs> Solar Child. Um, uh, and then also just happens to be like either there is a room next door that's a hot box or there the the, the concert itself is a hot box experience just because why I, separate them yeah. Why separate them, yeah if everyone can play with that environment like not like an insane if lil one. wayne can do it if travis scott can do it he can do it <laughs> oh don't shout out travis scott i wasn't shouting that out i was using them as an example he said his name so shout out Dang. Or it's a call out. <laughs> it's a call. All you have to do is say a name. Oh shit! Oh shit! Travis Scott, whatever. I mean, he's cool. I don't know. I mean, the McDonald's thing. Can we just like real quick for the topical thing? Did anyone get the McDonald's Travis Scott meal? If you're referring to a bacon double quarter pounder, yeah, I got that. I didn't. I didn't call it a Travis Scott meal. I said, can I get a bacon quarter pounder meal? Because that's all it is, plus lettuce, tomato, and I don't. I don't know if there's a secret sauce or anything. I'm not gonna try it. He didn't try. Who cares? <laughs> no, this is the Travis Patty we're talking about. This is an iconic patty. pretty patties. <laughs> an iconic piece of meat. Talk about a weird music. Like I guess that's just like his. That's just money in his pocket, right? That's just like. Hey, did y'all catch that Fortnite concert though? The Anderson Park. Tommy did. Travis <laughs> <laughs> no. It was a while ago. That was a while ago. Yeah. Dang. Anderson Park one was like yesterday, and I missed it. Oh yeah. No, there's gonna be another one actually. Once okay. That's Travis Scott. It's tomorrow. <laughs> it's like a, oh. Could could we get a Coral Nine Minecraft show? Y'all y'all do uh, gotta get in the uh, Minecraft uh, world. Because I, I heard I'm people do we that. like sync it up? Get some avatar, like avatars synced up with our movements or something. <laughs> yeah, you could crazy. probably do that. I mean, there's this like thing I 
some guys in LA are doing that. Like I think uh, this band called Fashion Jackson has like shows inside a Minecraft server. So <laughs> that's funny. Get those tech bros in the collective, and then you can <laughs> make a magic happen. Exactly, <laughs> bro. I was a the reason I got into film was because I was a Minecraft YouTuber. So. Whoa. Yeah. Right here. Deep cuts. Oh, Riley also subscribers. Had some deep cut, uh, YouTube experience. Oh yeah, I I I wanted to be like like. Like Nigi Higa, Ryan Higa. How to be a ninja. I, I, I released a bunch of silly skits on YouTube. Dude, no. I, me and my brother did that. Yeah. We made how to be a ninja. I'm pretty sure I found that. Yeah, I've seen that YouTube channel. Be Magpog. Yeah. <laughs> Quality content for sure. Yeah. I have a video where I'm like, stop hating on me. I don't like <laughs> I, that. I like that video. <laughs> I like that video. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm only in my single digits, guys. I'm <laughs> nine. And I was like 10. Wow. <laughs> so, was... Growing up in the YouTube era right there, dang. All, all of it. us are YouTubers, I guess, in some sort. Has everyone here uploaded a YouTube video at one point in their life? You know what? I used, oh, to, Marco, I used to have skate videos. Eight, <laughs> I used to have skate videos and then upload my fantasy Dude, Happy skate three park onto youtube that's cool Get videos and it's, face okay. covers. It's, it's interesting because i feel like there's definitely like a generation not a gap but there's a generation like staying in our band mm. like i'm i'm like three years younger than the I'm other 16 years old 17 yeah, it's like, 17. <laughs> yeah. i'm just kidding i'm 17 so for, for a hot stock we had 16 to 24 we had that range for a little bit mm -hmm. and now Dang. it's still in the collectivized but... yeah. yeah it's still in the collectivized and then is anyone younger i don't know i don't think me, so. and, Mar me and marco is our night or well i'm 20 and he's 22. yeah he's sometimes there's 20. like the, like <laughs> moments <laughs> that, <laughs> that was weird, dude. there's that definitely was moments where there was like their jokes i feel like i missed out because i'm like a little bit younger but usually i don't think it affects it too much yeah it's just but uh there's yeah. definitely <laughs> yeah <laughs> not like inappropriate it's a well, generational fellowship with the rad dads we're all yeah, zoomers i'm a little much when it that. comes down to it Tav, Tav has never seen school of rock because he was born the year it came out <laughs> which is like i understand kind of fair enough we're gonna watch yeah. it together as a fan yeah. it's a very no, influential I, oh, uh man. piece of art oh definitely you must i've been saving it Here's so i have a have you oh, seen Spider-Man 2002? There's so much people talking at this point. I don't even know. What, what are we talking about anymore? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Let's regroup, everyone. Jeez. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. I'll, no, I'm sorry. I, I have nothing to say. Uh, just kidding. Why don't we maybe, I guess, branch it off as we conduct the, the extended. This is sort of the deep cuts. All of the, this is extended, extended. The extended, extended intro is over. Now we're just kind of talking, talking. Uh, as a band, Coral Nine, what scene do you guys wish you were like more affiliated with, and why? Like, it, it not maybe this right. is a loaded question, right? Because like you could say skate, you could say ska. You could say R and B, like there's it open end. I'm just curious, is there a scene, is there a band, or that you guys like would like to be a part of that you're uh, not quite there yet? I guess. Maybe this is I'm too not, deep. Like, too familiar. Scenes. I mean, I'd love to meet Anderson Park. Mm. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's someone I, mean, I looked. Yeah, there's a couple of people down in LA, like um, currently in Strum School. Like, there's some dude named Bennett Coast. Like, they seem like pretty cool people that mm. I would like to meet eventually. But that's that's more like me. I don't know. It's not like a band thing. So I don't know. But, this is just yeah. now a shout out to the strangers that we look up to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know about me. I, I think I'm like, I like where we're at. Or like, he the, wants to meet uh, Justin scene. Timberlake. I don't want to meet Justin Timberlake. I want to meet. Why don't you want to meet Justin Timberlake? Why wouldn't you want to meet Justin Timberlake? I don't know. Well, you don't want to meet your heroes. I don't really care about meeting famous people. I don't know. I'm I'm yeah. hip. Yeah. I've I've heard that meeting your heroes is bad, bro. So there's just I'm regular people that everyone knows. 
so that kind of true yeah. well yeah regular people with a lot of money you know with fucking yeah. money <laughs> i would just it'd be really cool to play with like Artists that I really look up to, like that'd be really, like really yeah, awesome. I guess, like yeah. a jam session or something. Like, like either a jam session or just like playing, playing with them, like like playing with opening. them, like as like like I mean, opening for them or even fucking like maybe even what headlining. Who knows? Deep mm. conversation. With deep them. conversation with hanging out, you know? Yeah. Like it'd be nice. It'd be cool to just like get to know them, like what's their like process, you know, and like what's going on with them. So then I, I guess know. from that I ask, dead or alive. You get to have a mm-hmm. dinner conversation with any person. Who do you guys pick? McCartney. McCartney. Okay. A good question. Solid, solid answer. Definitely very curious. What would you ask him, Kavi? That I haven't thought of yet. But <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, I don't know. He just influenced my life so much. Like, I don't know. I feel like. Isn't that so crazy? Some guy in the 60s in the 70s like yeah. they've remained so relevant regardless of the time yeah it's crazy um for me batman <laughs> <laughs> which one bruce banner or like i don't know the whoa <laughs> whoa you said bruce banner it's bruce wayne whatever Dumb, fuck you whatever that's hulk <laughs> or robert patterson guy. Robert Patterson would be really cool to me. Um, uh, or Christian Bale. Or Dude, like he's got COVID. Adam though. West. Oh, no, Adam West is dead. Nah, he tested a negative. No, okay. I don't know. They were soon filming. I don't know what's going no, on. No, Adam West is dead. No, he's yeah. dead or alive. Oh, dead or alive. Okay. Okay. Um, you could meet any of them in this hypothetical yeah, I mean, possibility. Just, just like an imaginary, like what you think Batman would be, I would want to meet Batman. So, what I can think Batman, of an animated yeah. Batman standing next to real life you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just for the photo so Lucy, uh, for the grin. but like not bruce wayne batman not bruce wayne yeah i know batman <laughs> what okay, context does like batman do meet and greets like who, who's getting to take pics with batman pretty much no one right like the uh, hall of justice uh the justice, justice league Bro, as soon as you take a picture with them he's gone yeah <laughs> exactly you, see you only That's see one picture. chance no you see the smoke he leaves the actual yes. deception <laughs> You see a little bit of skin. <laughs> what about you, Marcus? Oh, my God. I don't know. I really don't know. I've never, uh, I've never envisioned myself meeting anybody famous. Hmm. What well, doesn't even but, have to be famous? It just could be like your dead parents, you know, or grandparents. Oh. Sorry, not your dead parents. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, my parents aren't good. But uh, I don't know. Or someone, guess, you know, I don't know. Just that's sorry. Right there, I, I, I guess <laughs> if I were to be able to meet uh, James Poiser. He's a keyboardist for the Roots. Oh, yeah. I think maybe him. Solid. Does he have like a Red Bull talk or Love. something like that? I feel like that's a. Not that I know of. I just like I just listened to a lot of the. Uh... So he did a lot of like Soul Quarians, uh like he's on Soul Quarians, like D'Angelo's album, mm. Voodoo, or uh, Erica Badu's Mama's Gun, and um, him or like, or Pharrell, Pharrell Williams, definitely. Mm one half of the neptunes they're like one of my biggest influences so i definitely act like i think i don't know what the first thing i would ask him because i know like who his influences are but i probably just i don't know i don't know what i would say to him <laughs> Ooh, it's not something i think about what's up what's up man I, what's up dude I, that's I'm a not, great I mean, answer I, by I, the I, way because it reminded I'm me of him. his nard like frel williams nardwar interviews i don't know if y'all have seen those but uh oh yeah they're pretty so i would check them out marcus um if you, I guess, if you haven't heard of Nardwar, that's fine. But no, uh, what do you Nardwar. think? What do you think if you were to do an interview with Nardwar in this hypothetical future? What do you think he's like bringing to that interview? Like, what is he going to surprise you with? That you, he's going to be like, he's going to be like, oh, I heard you almost drowned there. when you were six or something, or like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you were drowned when you were six. What? You were almost, no, you almost it's drowned. A piece of hair I found <laughs> of your. Second dog that died in probably my dick pic. Oh, probably right. my dick pic. Yeah. What? Probably. It's out there, everybody. Watch out. It's out there. It's out there somewhere. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cobb hasn't seen it because you know because that would be 
<laughs> is that water or is that rum yeah. what you're drinking? My goodness. Tear right. mist. Tear mist. Sorry, sorry. We got soda in the house. I forgot. <laughs> soda drinkers. Is, is, is Dom coming story. back, I, by the way, or is that... Yeah, Dom's coming back. Okay. Dom's, Dom's just in the bathroom. Because um, I want to, like... I'm pretty sure he picked, like, Childish, Childish Gambino, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, he picked Childish Gambino for sure. <laughs> he comes back, he it's like, wanna. nah, dude. And then, uh... Out of the screen. And then, like, Adam would probably want to meet Jay Dilla. Mm. Well, I thought we were only talking about musicians. Are you talking about anyone? That's true, yeah. anyone, too, yeah. Oh. Oh, anyone? I might change my answer. I would well, I said Batman. Too. I would change yeah, my Riley answer. Riley said Batman in the beginning, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I know I, that didn't process for me. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Take your time. Or the Joker. That'd be good too. Anyway, go ahead. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's too. A hard question. The jo- Joker I, would be good I because, like, meet. go. Oh, okay, I'd want to meet uh, Kevin Feige. That's what I'd want to meet. Oh, John met him, dude. I know. I know. He did. Oh, he had a really? Zoom call That's with him. Crazy. Uh, yeah. yes, who who's cool. that's sick? Kevin? Oh, who's Kevin Feige? Yeah, he's the uh, president and chief creative O of uh, Marvel Studios. So he's Whoa. like, she's like responsible for the MCU, and I'm like a really big comic fan. Oh damn! I've I've always I've always like I've loved Spider Man since I was like two years old. Mm. So I don't know. I would just be like, hey. Where are you gonna? What are you gonna do with the MCU or something? I just feel like just let me. Know. I won't tell nobody, and then he wouldn't tell me. <laughs> I know exactly how it would go. For sure. Well, uh, I'm kind of like this is we've hit the, almost the hour mark, but I don't want to end it without Dom. Can we get like Dom out here? Oh yeah, Dom. Dom's coming back. Dom's coming back. Sorry. Okay. We'll we'll end it on like one solid. Dom, who do you want to meet? Moment. Who do you want to meet? Dead or alive? Dead or alive? Dead or alive? Who do I want to meet? What do you think? Just yeah, anyone in the world. Like, Hold up, so, go on my own think side. about it. Think about it while you walk over there. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's uh, come back online. Let's come back online. Well, uh, maybe in proper fashion, you know, the way we can sort of recap. Well, okay, real quick, Dom, dead or alive? Jack oh, Black. Jack Black. Jack Black. What am Jack I saying? Black. Jack Black. Hundred percent. Perfect. You said, what am I saying? Perfect. I want to play Smoke on the Water. Jackie Black. Black. <laughs> 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 That'd be that'd be a great like thing to just post your Instagram, just like just played smoke on the water with with Jack freaking. Black. We reenacted the smoke on the water scene. <laughs> I think I did with my brother many times throughout my childhood. <laughs> Hell yeah! Dom, um, I said Childish Gambino for you. Yeah, no, dude. <laughs> it's the same reason. It's the same reason why Donald Glover di- or didn't want to meet Levar Burton in Community. We're in the neck. I'm gonna move over here. Dude, that's a great that makes answer. Sense. Yeah. Shout out to the community. Oh, yeah, what about Adam? Yeah, what about Adam? Who do you want to meet? I said Jay Dilla. Archie. Really. Archie. King Cruel. No, no, King Cruel. Or maybe Dilla. Actually, I feel like Dilla and Adam would vibe. Oh, I honestly think we have an echo at this point. So maybe this is the 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 audio god saying it's been a solid hour. Pizza. Time. But uh, okay. why don't we do the shout outs? Because I know that we could get a couple more in there before the end of this. Uh, Coral Nine, what right, let's do you want your listeners overload. to remember? There are too many shout outs. Recap. Shout out Juhan, No Room No Sweetener. Oh. Shout out Adam <laughs> Ruth Beck. Adam Ruth Beck of Inside Mood. Shout out Evita, featuring on King Dom's thing. Shout out Lavira. <laughs> shout out Alfonso, Solo Child. Shout out uh, John, John Kim. Shout out. Uh, hey, Major Tom. Tom. Shout out Quintel the Cryptid, my guitar teacher. Shout out sure. uh Lauren. Shit, I don't know. Lauren, shout out Lauren. Shout out Kezia. Hey, shout, out, shout out Otis. Shout Kezia, out be safe. Shout, shout out, out Otis. Kezia, be safe. Shout out Mo. Shout out Manhattan. Shout, shout out, shout out Mo for real. Shout out Mo for real. Shout out uh Kyle's parents for letting us do this all the time. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my neighbors for actually oh. like dealing with our noise. Mm. Bernie Sanders yeah. too. You gotta give him free tickets to the the, the big show when y'all play Madison <laughs> yeah. Square Garden. Holla, big, big play Holla Yeah. <laughs> shout, shout out Quincy shout Jones. Out. Shout, out. Shout, out Jones. <laughs> shout out Jackson, Jackson, and Chris. Shout out to my boy oh, Matt. Matt and Matt and Hannah and Brendan. Shout out. Uh... 
my dad. Definitely. Definitely shout out to shout out. Joe. Yeah. What about your dealer? Okay, like, Joe. who's hooking up on the weed? <laughs> I'm not smoking anymore. Shout out my Yo. brother. No, we don't. We don't do that. We don't do any drugs in this. But we're a drug-free band. Fuck. I'm not. <laughs> That actually be illegal. <laughs> okay, I may or may not have smoked weed earlier. <laughs> you I think we could end, end the interview pretty okay. soon here. I'm and going. This is Big <laughs> Coral Nine in 2020 of what of September or something. Everybody wave. Everybody wave. Everyone wave. See y'all. Drink soon. water. Look Bye. out for self titled. It's amazing. Uh, Crazy eyes, Lavira, Alfonso, everybody. Okay. And stop.